in the place to be on Sunday with Key. You already know what time it is. It is Kill Sunday. One day I'll be on top of the world. Yeah. That's just how I feel right now. It feels good. Yeah. Feels good, yeah. It feels good. That's what making plays feels like. It feels good. It feels like winning. This is Classic Talks Podcast, where we subscribe to a next play mentality, one conversation at a time. I am Dr. Classic. Let's talk about it. Yo, 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 yo. I am. I am. I am. I am Dr. Classic, and we got to talk about it. Yes. Man, you, you know bring I, it through. I'll be ready. You know, Man, it's Sunday. <laughs> Look, it's Sunday. you know I listen to and watch your podcast, too. I just did the whole. Wait till you run this back and you see it. I was I all know. in the camera like I was you and stuff. That's what making plays. <laughs> it feels good. It feels like winning. Like winning. <laughs> Like winning, man. I'm on it. And, and yeah, I feel like happening? winning on Sunday because it's self-care Sunday. And it's that first self-care Sunday behind the new year. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. So Happy it feels. Happy new year, man. Right. Hey, Happy right. new year. Happy right, right, year. right. Look, it's funny how we start saying that my lights get the flick, 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 flick. Happy new year. Flick, 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 flicking up over here. Flicking right. Flicking up. Flicking up. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I'm already knowing. New- to all, to all of our audience listeners and our new listeners and everything, Happy New Year to everybody. And we got a conversation today that's going to be perfect for you. Um, we're starting your new year off the right way. Um, as always, it's a pleasure to be sitting in with you, Dr. Classic from Classic Talks Podcast, everybody. Yo, yo. Uh, Happy Sunday. Happy New Year's. How you doing? How, how you, how you, you feel? I feel real restored into uh, the, in this about new to year. Say. I ain't going to lie. Not only is this the best day, but man, I had a really good holiday season. It couldn't have really went no better. I had a great New Year's and it was super simple. I, I thank God for being shut in. <laughs> like, Look, right, the crib, right. man, it was all a good time. I, I was seeing those memes go across all, all New Year's Eve. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to go to the party in my living room. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I might just not show up. <laughs> exactly hey, that's what I said. And and here, like man, the vibe, the vibe that we actually had here um, in the studio. Oh um, man, you would have swore we went to like uh, oh, tea time on the corner over there on Liz. Like, it me. was oh, man, man I the LEDs it, man. was going. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just, and, and then it was um, to be around the right people. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? Like right. not being around and not feeling. You know, unsafe, unsecure, unsure of who's around. And, you know what I mean? Just being around the right people like that just that was another thing that kept the vibe like like right. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was it was great. It was great. It was great. Yeah, man. It is good. It's good to even just when you think about New Year's and just what it means to like move into just a, a fresh season, like you got to have the right energy around you, the right people. I tell people that often, like, don't get too comfortable with your circle that you, you know, you forget. You know, you don't feel around it. Like, make sure it's all smooth. My circle's so good. The people in my life just breathe life, speak life, our Come life. On. So, I'm with it, man. Come on. Now, y'all both shots. Tabo, hey. I heard that. And that's Sunday. With- it is Sunday. With- hey, it is Sunday. Yeah, um... One of the main things I want to talk about, I know that last conversation we talked about, we really spoke on, like, resolution. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and the solution to what it, re- what it really is... is. You know what I mean? To having that resolution. So bringing this conversation forth, um, it should be a real good one where we um, we want to speak. We want to speak on time management, um, time management being the ability to plan and control how someone spends the hours in a day to effect- effectively accomplish their goals. And one thing that I really want to pay attention to also when you speak about time uh, management is being present in the moment. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. A lot of the times people are in the moment, but they're not present in the moment. The you know moment. what I'm saying? They're, they're here, but they're thinking about tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like it's Tuesday, but they're thinking about Friday. Like, no, you need to worry about Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? How can you even prepare for Friday if you don't do what you need to do on Tuesday? Yeah. And this is the, this is one of those things that becomes important with time management is being present in the moment. 
You ain't wrong. Two days that we can't, I mean, two days we can do nothing about is yesterday and tomorrow. So we got to take care of today. Um, and, and, and it's something different to be present when you can really get your mind focused in on just what's happening right in front of you. You start to enjoy it. You know, you enjoy that space. I'm one who I, just having so much anxiety and anxiousness growing up and just thinking about like how things are going to go for me. And just even my early adulthood, every time I was in a should be feel good moment, I'm thinking about what if and what changes and how I'm going to do and what, who's going to come through and, Man, that, that kind of drags you and you really do miss your blessing in the space you're in. Most definitely. And 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 that's where you <clears throat> that's where you focus in on, on your time management because when you pay attention to your time management, then there is no room for anybody else's issues or anybody else's problems or the concern of what's going on in somebody else's business that has right. nothing to do with you. Yeah. And this is where you need to put this into perspective with your resolution because your resolution becomes your yearly goal that you want to tackle. Yeah. But if you're not being present in every, every little moment, okay, you can throw your goal off track and everybody knows how hard it is for some people to get off track to get back on track. You know what I mean? That's, a, this is another thing that's important in time management. We, we'll talk, What's we'll touch base on that, but You're right through this, it. I already know. I already yeah. Know. But this is like, this is what people have to understand. You know what I mean? With your resolution, your time management becomes important mm-hmm. from what am I going to do today? to what am I going to do this week? So what am I going to do this month? You know what I mean? Like you have to start now. You know what I mean? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You yeah. have to start now. Start jotting these things down. Start writing down yeah. what it is that you want to go through for the day. That's one thing that helps me out. You know what I mean? And I try yeah. to, I, I preach this to people a lot that's around me. I have a dry erase board in my room that I have to see. You know what I mean? Who doesn't go in their room over five times a day? Right. You know what I mean? So there's a dry erase board in my room that I have to see. And, um, on my dry erase board, I use a color coding, you know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean, sensory things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some things stand out based off color. So I have things in red that I want to make sure I do daily, you yeah. know what I'm saying, that don't change. Yeah. Read, journal, workout, log. Okay. These are four things I want to do daily. I mean, that I do daily, you know what I'm saying? Because that's for my own personal growth. Sometimes you have no one around to express to. You know what I mean? So this is this is how I manage my time. You know what I'm saying? Before bed, when you're restoring yourself and you're getting yourself together, you mm-hmm. want to find things to do that are going to personally help you get to the goals that you want to get to. You so, know what I mean? And yeah, sometimes, so- you, sometimes you might need to, you know, journal or something to have that conversation with yourself to say, yeah, you got, I got off track today because blah, 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 blah. And I ate some German chocolate cake and I should have never ate that German chocolate cake. When you're putting this stuff down and you're reading it, you're having that conversation with yourself to where you're holding yourself accountable now for those actions yeah. because you're able to speak it out loud that you're messing up. This is how you get back on track. Excellent. But when you put, when you keep this stuff within that's a form of hiding. You know what I mean? Now you're you're covering it up and you're hiding your mistakes that you're making instead of expressing them out loud so that you can't correct them. This is, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? This is how you properly can use your time management to help you get to the resolutions that you're setting for yourself for the year. Yeah. And you speak, you speak good, you speak good on really people understanding what strategies and tactics work for you to understand how your time is being used. Like some uh-huh. somebody like me, I have to use a schedule. You know what I mean? Like I have a schedule and if I follow that schedule, I really am, a, I, I have put time into the schedule so that I can make sure that I get accomplished what needs to be done. Like I even schedule in admin time, like time where I'm just making sure I'm responding to emails, just making sure, you know, some people are like, oh, I can, I can do emails in between the throw that'll send you down this rabbit hole. When I know is, and I kind of got that from basketball, You like even just being a coach, you can't put kids through a drill especially when they're not getting it for a long cycle of time, like put some time on the clock. Once that time runs out, whether they got the skill or not, sometimes it's time to move on and come back to it with some fresh legs, fresh eyes, whatever it's going to be. Same thing for your lifestyle. Like you can't just think, Oh, I can push that in or I can just drown this into the ground. And don't get me wrong. I burn the candle on both ends a lot of times, but I know if my schedule is rocking, I'm more productive than just busy. Cause a lot of times we live in that real busy world where people moving and grooving and it, are you being productive or are you being busy? So that's, that's real to make sure people had those good strategies, tactics kind of lined up, ready to go. What's going to make and, you and, good and on your we time? Actually, we actually gone bring echo in on that one because echo. that's important. You know what I mean? Are you being productive? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or are you just overworking yourself? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. As, as the things that you're doing, are they actually being effective? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's where the reflection comes in. We're going to make sure we, we stay on, on that note when we speak on time management as Absolutely. well, because all of this stuff becomes important, especially when you're looking to increase your, your personal growth. You know what yeah. I mean? Or you're working on your self-character or your self-worth or whatever it is about yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's all about how you spend your time. How you spend your a lot time. of time, a lot of time gets wasted. And I speak a lot about how people should uh, treat time like they treat their money. You know what I mean? You tight with your money, you'll go to the store and you won't even buy a shirt that you know you need because it costs too much. Mm. But you won't look at four hours in your life and how you spent those four hours as much as that costs. As if you can get that back. You can get that $40 back that you didn't want to spend. You can't get this four hours back that you choose to waste doing nothing. Yeah, we, we, you know what? One, something that really rings to me when people... To like give me uh, scenarios in their life that they want, like you know, how can I really maximize the time and use it for you know to benefit me? I think that it comes to you really harnessing and focusing your time. When are you mentally strongest? You and I talked a lot about um, how we you know start our day off. What our routine is. I know I'm man. I'm physically fit, mentally fit in the morning. So in the morning, I'm gonna get up, do my workout, and when I hit my desk. Boom, I'm off to the races. So anything that's important, you got to put in that time that you are mentally str- strong, that you really perk through your day. Like it really do help when you harness and focus your time appropriately. Like you don't want to put something important at five o'clock or if your downtime is at two, you need right. to get up and walk away because you about tired. Like don't put nothing important at that time because you're going to give the energy that you got. And if it's your low period, it's going to be low, po- low productivity all the way around. You're going to find right. yourself scrolling. You're going to be like, oh, man, I didn't even or I'm going to do this later. And then eventually your day is thrown off and your time is being wasted. And you take, you know, Rob and Peter to pay Paul. And eventually it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> and you really do lay down and go to sleep instead of, you know, burning the candle because you're tired now. And now it's over for you. So just really and, understanding how your day is outlined is important for sure. And that's and that's how my board helps me out uh, because we get lost. You know, what I mean, sometimes we think we can hold everything mentally in our mind for sure and and think we got it all figured out. But I've grown to learn, you know, what I mean, as an individual myself, that it's important to kind of plan it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I used to be so against planning, like to the to the core, like let's do it Friday at seven o'clock. Just call me Friday and let's see if we can do it. You know yes, what I'm saying? Like, Terrence, you, you, you are. You was like, I'm going to come yeah. through. Yeah. Like, you don't like that little time, huh? Hey, I used to hate collar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But now it's like I understand because I I become more organized. You know what I'm saying? I understand how important it is to plan. You know what, you I mean? know what and, the switch was? And don't pass this message because people got to hear it. You start to value your you understood time and you start to value your time. When you value your time, now you want people to treat your time good. So you turn around and you trying to you treat time good on that end. Like when I started to understand how much time was valuable, listen, I email, text, hey, let me know what you thinking. Don't just leave me hanging because I can put something else in this time. Don't waste my time, man. Like right. just let me know what you're gonna do. Even if it's a hard no, we grown, it's a no. But right. let me know what's going to happen with your time. Once you valued it, it, it 7 o'clock on Friday, and you put it in your phone. And you made sure you put a little link on your computer. Like, yeah, because that's what that's what that you value your time. Yep. And and that's where my, my um, like, all this stuff is on. It's a little, little dry erase board. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That you can erase and change stuff on. But, yeah. like, like, I color code, like, simple stuff in black, like, for the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so what what are four things that I know? I have to get done okay. tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I always plan the day the night before. Okay. You know what I mean? What are four things that I know I have to get done tomorrow? Mm-hmm. You know how good it feels to erase those four things off the board. That that part. Them you know what I mean? And them four things, you know what I mean? They lead you into other things that you need to get done. And, but yeah. these are the importance and the nano goals that I tell people to set. Okay. You know what I mean? This is another way for you to, to manage your time. Set nano goals. Set little things. Okay, what is it? What is something I want to get done within this next hour? You know what I mean? That's a nice time frame for yourself. Nice, yeah. What am I? What do I want to get done in this next hour? That's how we're able to do, you know what I mean? How we handle things when we get off of these videos and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what am I going to, I'm going to dedicate this much time to doing this and then I can move on to doing this. Matter of fact, I can do this while I'm doing that. Yeah. It cuts this short. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's... Why are we thinking time, about it? Go for it. Time is what? Go ahead. I was going to say, oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. 
Go ahead, it's on you, got it. you got it. Hey, flow. that's how the little awkward meetings be when it's a lot of people on Zoom and you're trying to uh, go ahead, Bob. Oh, all right. yeah, it's on you. <laughs> Look, then you pause. Stop. I'm gonna tell you, everybody gets. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. My thought wasn't even important no more. Go ahead. Where are the smiles at? Where's the smiles at? <laughs> Oh my God, man! <sighs> it's too much. Right, now, I done lost what I wanted to say. Um, oh, I was gonna tell you. I want tomorrow because since we just talking about time, and I always like to kind of recalibrate my time, see where I can kind of itch out another couple minutes to do this or another couple minutes to do that. I want you to take a look at um, how many times you're distracted. So whatever time frame you have around the project say you're like tomorrow i'm gonna I'm write a paper and i'm gonna write for an hour say that's what the project is that's how much time you give yourself really truly look at your start time so if you start at 2 30 from your start time to your end time keep a track of how many times you get distracted if you and and honestly i was shocked to see how many times i really was distracted and distracted is Anything outside of what you had in that time frame that wasn't a sense of emergency, like if yo if something happened with your kid, you know, nothing like that, you're not distracted. Right, right, right. But if you just sit at your desk once you grab your phone or you click off the screen from typing and you, you know, checking an email and I mean like true distractions, they ain't gotta be bad, just right. they off of the mission. And I want you to keep a track of that tomorrow. See how many times you can keep a track of the three year projects, you're gonna be like, gee, I got like thirty hours in my day. <laughs> <laughs> not 24 but like I, I really got some little pockets of space man when you're thinking about time a lot of people say i don't got enough time honestly you got just as much time as you want and need depending on what you're gonna put aside don't get me wrong the day get long you get tired you gotta switch it up but there is time there people be on facebook telling me they ain't got time and, and why you, you know why you dm that? me that <laughs> <laughs> Funny that you said that. I, was, I forgot what He's I was throwing. watching. I was watching something, and this guy had pinpointed it out that same way where he was like, We have things planned to do, and we'll feel like we're running, you know what I mean, behind. Mm-hmm. And we tell people, I don't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Yeah. Hey, bro, can you stop by my house and drop that? Bro, I ain't got no time. I got to get here. I got to get here. Yeah. But just think about in the midst of going there, then you don't, uh, unexpected stuff happen. Oh, I got to get some gas. You stop and get some gas. Yeah. Then you might grab you a quick bite to eat before mm-hmm. you go. And then along on the way, you know what I'm saying? A couple of red lights done caught, you know what right. I'm saying? But you still make it on time. Right. You do. Like it's it's kind of it, 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 it's kind of mental too in, in the same you, breath. Like you how condition you yourself. Yeah. And then look at it at a level deeper. Then your behaviors get to acting like that. Now you driving fast. Now you trying yep. to now you oh yeah, let me let me text real quick and get this. Now you know your behaviors change too because you're putting yourself in this it's almost like a little pre panic mode because I'm I'm moving, I gotta go. And it really right. just be like readjust yourself so that you can pause. I had to stop doing that. I had some really when I have really big presentations, just your regular nerves are there, you making sure, you know, you're going over your talking points and you think about it. And I would try and keep busy until it was time for me to get in and just, you know, you know, get it off. Man, I, I used to run in kind of like, whew, and I really didn't just move into it. Now, man, I take a little moment. I sit back. I'm chilling. I'm I'm working on something different because my preparation is confidence. I'm preparing. I didn't. I spent my hours. I spent my time. I'm good. And I walk in in the energy that I want the room to be in. I walk in an energy that I want to perform or pre- present in, speak in. And it, and it really just changes your mind frame. You kind of train yourself and let yourself know, like, you know, this is, you know, you in control. People only seeing what you give off. You be thinking, right. oh, they think I'm pressed. No, you you pressed <laughs> and you right. act pressed. So you gave the energy off. They just sit in the room waiting for you to, to talk. <laughs> so you got to figure it out. That, um, towards the uh, ending of 20, 2020, that was my focus through the holiday season was mm-hmm. um focus and discipline i wanted to build on focus and discipline okay. and i really aimed towards that with because i was chasing weight goals and the holidays coming up and you know the holidays come up we get to we get to doing bad you know what i'm saying yeah. whatever i'm going for mine i'm yeah. you know what i'm saying right. so <laughs> i was like i really want to focus um i really want to build on focus and discipline these are my character traits that i wanted to build on okay. you know what i mean in that fourth quarter of 2020 and i learned that Focus and discipline actually rely on preparation. You got to prepare everything. Everything 
starts with preparation. Preparation. You know what I mean? And man. you got to think about that with time management. Your time management is how you, you're preparing it. Prepare your time. You know what I mean? Analyze what tomorrow is, the things you got to do. Boom. This is going to take this much time, boom, 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 boom. But in between this time, I can handle this. I can do that. Okay, boom. And you watch how much smoother your day goes when you actually have a plan to how you're going to attack it. Yeah. And when when you have a plan and you start to think of, like, different ways it can go, understand the flexibilities in that. Because a lot of times we start to structure and we think we fail when something goes off course. Everything goes off course. It's almost just like responding, like, what can I do next? That's next play mentality. When you hear no, think, think next. When you, when you, there's a door closed, you know, find another one to open. What's your next turn? Like, have some flexibility into what you're thinking. Like, pr- the productivity and the, and the focus and the preparation, like, all of mm-hmm. preparation is really like the foundation of it. That's where you give yourself exposure to it. So when you see it again, that muscle memory should kick in, depending on how you prepare it, of course. But that's where that muscle memory kick in. That's where your confidence is. You know how people get in conversations and they, they just, they jacking it down. Like I'm talking, I'm back and forth because they know what they're talking about. They prepare, so they ready, they confident, they ready to talk about what you got to talk about. Still have some listening there, still hear what's going on. But man, get yourself into a place where your preparation beats you to the door. So it meets you there. And when you walk in, you know, that align, all of that align. Oh yeah, let, you, you sitting in, you in your zone, man. When you spoke on that muscle memory, that's that's the key right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get a week. You know what I mean? Give yourself a week to build on what you want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Add little pieces to yourself, yeah. okay? I'm going this week, I'm just going to focus on getting up early. How about I do that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a morning person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Understand your strengths and your weaknesses. I'm not a morning person. So this week, just try to focus on getting up 30 minutes earlier. Early. Or get or focus on not hitting the snooze button three times, but hitting it once. Mm. Just All these the little steps. Thing. Take the little steps. You know what I mean? And then the next week you're going to roll into what? Okay. How about I ain't going to hit the snooze button at all this week. I'm just going to get up. Right. You talked yeah. about it. That this should lead into your conversation where <clears throat> as you're working through these things, if you mess up, keep going. It don't you gotta constitute a, a, oh, I'm done. I'm going to start next Monday and it's Tuesday. Just And, no. and <laughs> that's, the, and that's the main flaw uh, to why a lot of people don't accomplish their resolutions. A lot of people don't conquer their dreams. A lot of people don't achieve their goals. Yeah. These are the reasons why, because they fall off track and they're so hard on themselves. Yeah. Okay. If you're been, if you've been doing good for seven days, mm-hmm. if you mess up for one hour, don't be hard on yourself. Right, man. Don't jump off the bandwagon. Don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Just pop yourself on the hand and, and, and get back to business. You know what I mean? But don't let that hinder you. And then it just starts to bring you down. So now that one hour turned into, okay, now I've been messing up for five hours. Now I've been messing up for 24 hours. Now I've been messing up for three days. All right. I don't even care about this goal no more. Now, it's, now we three months into the new year and now you want to set a new goal. Yeah, you forgot all about your resolution because yeah. all because of one little minor slip up. No, like it, you have to get back on track. You do. The secret sauce is consistency, and consistency is it's incremental. Like uh, consistency doesn't mean you did it every time right, but there was an attempt there. Like there are days I never I, I get up early. I do not want to go to the gym. It took everything in me, and I had I talked myself out of it really three times. But the fourth time, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. So right. it, I mean, it really drag you. But when you can put yourself in that environment, then sometimes it'll be my worst, my best workouts. I'm like, oh yeah, I got straight to it. That was the best one I had in a minute. Like. You, you just put yourself in an environment and, and stuff happens, but you got to be willing. We, I talked to, we talked about in our little pregame that courage should just go to just show up, to just follow through. It creates opportunity. And, and if you are using your time well, you should be putting yourself in different environments. You should be moving around. You should be sticking to plan. Now you got a schedule. Now you got something to do. You have a deadline. You have a due date. You need to be here. And once you start to move like that, once your movements start to get calculated on purpose, then you, the opportunities start to show themselves, man. Environment is so deep. It's everything. Just get yourself in the right environment environment is important and i know exactly what you mean with that morning you get up in the morning and your body just like dude listen listen bro Uh, that little hour you didn't get last night of sleep is catching up on you right now i ain't going then you like man but your mind 
Remember that body and that yeah, mind, but your mind is like, nah, we got to get, we got, we got go. stuff to do. You know what I mean? So then you get up and you go and you are never lying yeah. when you say that. Sometimes them be the best workouts. Yeah, they do. You get there and you be like, dude, I burned 1300 <laughs> calories this morning. Jeez. Dude, like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I guilt trip myself for everything in the morning. Like, if you don't go work out. You already know. Like, I be right. I have to talk to myself like, hey, get up, man. So, but once I hit the floor, it really just getting out that comfort zone. You were comfortable. It's getting out the comfort. You were warm. You were straight. It's still dark outside. If you actually lay down, you got an hour and a half more to sleep, man. That's a, mm-hmm. hey, I'll be willing to throw a couple things off for another hour and a half. I got to get to the flow. Like, once you stand up and get yourself in a new environment, get uncomfortable, and that's the, just the principle of life. That's where the growth is. Like, now I got into the gym. I got there. So you ain't wrong. Like, just because and you fall off. And if I don't go tomorrow, don't mean I ain't got to go the next day. Like, get up and go. Hit it. And then, and listen to how you how you process your time. You get that right out the way in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, nope, that. let me knock this right out the way. Because then you don't have to try to worry about trying to fit that in throughout the day. That's a personal goal that you're aim that you're aiming for. You know what I mean? And sometimes and it's it, gonna be sacrificed. And that didn't work for me. Now my mind in the afternoon after I'd had a long day, oh, I'm talking myself right out the gym. Uh, you yeah. know what? If you sit down, hey, your food is almost done, and it's gonna be hot. It's better coming out the. It's better coming right out the skillet. But uh, <laughs> it's right, better when hit the plate right out the skillet. Eat it now. Don't eat it later. <laughs> That's what, hey, that's what'll make you get off the game. A real man. That'll make a real man get off the game. Like, um, uh, damn, y'all, I just died. Uh, I'm a- I died. The controller died. <laughs> yeah, let me go eat. <laughs> for I'm real, for real. Like I know. And that's how I, man, that's how I love my that routine. You get I get up in the morning, go to the gym, come home, boom, throw the eggs on. Oh. You know what I mean? Buy eggs on. Hop in the shower, get the sweat off you real quick. Boom. Yeah. By the time you got the shower, the eggs done boiling. Boom. Do your little steel cut oats real quick. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Now I'm sitting down. I'm waking. We you get to school. I'm here. I'm getting ready. I, by the time I get done for breakfast, I gotta clock in for work. Yeah. I gotta do what I gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Slam my grapefruit juice. Bam. All right. It's it's time for tea time. Like what? And just because you said that, when you mean clock in, you got to come to your own studio, your own situation, your business, and and yep. that's what people are shooting for. But that's why you got the time restraints in your day. That's why you have to balance it. You don't get the outcome of working for yourself or or getting to whatever goal it was. And our goal was, you know, to end up here. But whatever goal you have here, this is all the work that you got to do. Like you have to get your day into a structure. One thing I wanted to mention on here is like I want people to understand that you can overcome time pressure, too, because when we talk about time, time has such a heavy weight on people because they always are at a scarcity of it. We don't have enough. It's infinite, you know, and and we know that. Um, But don't put so much weight on time that it it cripples you or defeats you from using it appropriately. Let me give you an example. Like when you overwhelmed, you're going to make whatever project you're working on twice the t- twice the length to get it done anyways because being overwhelmed is like having an impaired mind. You can't right. do things appropriately. So there's been times where I'm like, I'm trying to push something out and I'm irritated. I, I can't even see the letter straight. I'm misspelling stuff. I'm just doing stuff that's just out of my movement because I'm overwhelmed. By the time I wake up in the morning, I got to read that, do that document anyways, because it was trash. I was overwhelmed trying to do it. So like, don't put time pressures on it. Or when people put like a lot of weight on their time, if I don't get this done by this time, then I'm, I'm quitting. Don't do Ooh, so, hey, man. Uh, if I don't, if I don't have this amount of money in the bank, I'm not doing this no more. Like people quit jobs. They stop going to school. They changed parenting techniques, like time and pressure. When you put them together, there is an outcome. And usually you don't win because time is going to go in the same direction and forward every time. It's never going to come back or it's never going to pause for you. So you got to be in a place where you take the understanding that if you're putting pressure on your time, understanding who you are as you maneuver and what lens are you looking through, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't you know think with an impaired mind. Truly get to a place where you spread it out give it the right value, understand how you're going to fix it and, and really give yourself some results. Uh, don't be, don't let time be a pressure of yours. Right. And, and that's key. And I used to be, Oh, they used to be me. Mm-hmm. Headline Kings. Like, no, this is going to be done by that day. So now I'm in here. I'm talking about a headache. Like yeah. 
to where to where you don't even want to do it no more because yeah, it's like you know what if I got to get this done by this day it just ain't the right time for me to be doing it I need yeah. to find me something else to be doing <laughs> if it's easier no it's not that you're just yeah. putting too much on yourself that's sometimes what you, you, got to, you got to sit back that's sit back a lot of a lot of what a lot of the success that I have right now started out as a pressure thing my my podcast alone started out as one of those pressure things okay. I gotta have this I gotta have this by this time by that time you know what I mean and I gotta get this done by it will cause you to get on there and 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 record your content and it don't even sound inspiring to nobody it ain't fun because you, because you yeah because you're rushing it in and you and you made it seem like something that just had to get done like yeah, yeah it's something that you want to get done and it needs to get done but Make sure you do it right. You Absolutely. have to make sure it's it's productive. You ain't wrong. That's hundred percent. And I'm with it. So, w- w- what the message is there is really just don't wait your time out. Don't don't overwhelm yourself and try and get projects done. Like understand that time is also delicate. Like using time at the right time is efficient use of your time. <laughs> use the time appropriately. Using That's the time Using time at the right time. It's the proper way. Hey, to I'm use here for the talk. Time. Let's talk about it. Right. Use it. Courtly. <laughs> so cares. I said, if you do good, look, that's what you need to back. Look, wait, hold on. I think I got a new button. The black preacher button. Y'all it. don't hear me. If you, you know how, you know, every black know. church. I'm going to fall out. I'm going to fall out in the chair. <laughs> I'm going to have somebody put the blanket me. over me. <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to tell you, um, just a just a quick update for you, real quick. David Montgomery just ran the ball, but yeah, time uh, time you. management though is um is key. And, irritating, um, irritating. I'm so it, 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 and I'm glad I learned it because I was not. Yeah, I was not that. You know what I'm saying? But it really helps you think more clear as well. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Like. People got we got a lot of chaos going on in our mind. You know what I'm saying? And like being and and to have stuff planned out and and have things like managed, oh, it makes life so much easier. Because even when you do get off track, what what am I what am I supposed to be doing? Oh yeah, that's right. I did want to get. I got to get this done. I got okay. Boom. Yeah. I'm back on track. But yeah. when you get off track with no plan. And you start working on anything, dude. So it'd be one of them, man. Have you ever worked on so many things you didn't finish nothing? Yep. Because you you didn't you wasn't focused. You just okay. I'm a I'm a I'm a make a sound. You know what? Let me upload this video. Dang, I yep. gotta do the picture. And you rip you busy. Here you go. I'm busy, but I'm not productive at all. And everything that was on my to do list, guess what? Still on my to do list. And I didn't I, finish I the sound. You. Nothing. I ain't do nothing. And I'm actually a victim of that still to this day. Like when we, one thing that we, I, I would love, I want to get across here um, to our audience and any listeners that may come across is we have these conversations because like Dr. Classic say, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We here right. for the talk, right? We're right. not, we're not here proclaiming to be perfect people. No, we're not because we're able to have these conversations because these are flaws that we battle or have battled. Right. And I battle that to this day. Let me work on this. Let me work on that. Let me work on this. And let me work on that. And before you know it, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, well, I got a title for this chapter, a yeah. title for that chapter, a title for that chapter, and a title for that chapter. Did you finish any of the chapters? No, but I got titles for every <laughs> chapter. Like, well, you're not out. getting nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting anywhere. And that's where the conversation that we did have beforehand is where I'm like, 2021 is going to be a great year because now I'm able to not worry about so much, you know what I mean? Yeah. To have created avenues for myself to make sure. what would be considered to be work so much easier for myself. To make plays, I already know, because it's a next play mentality. And, and what's crazy, too, and I, I think about it like... Hold on, before you say that next play mentality... What is it? What I did was took note from you. Okay. And I found capable people and put them in position to make capable plays. I'm with that 110%. Uh-huh. Keep it I, just, I just had to throw it in there. All right, no. Here Keep it classic. Absolutely, man. It was it, definitely it had like it, it just you you when you see potential in somebody in the midst of how you're managing your time and yeah. you see how they can how you can help them manage their time better, sure. lend your hand. Like sure. be that person. 
character. People need because, it, man. Because how many people look at a lot of people as capable? So if you can, if you can look at somebody as capable and draw some of those good characteristics and qualities out, it's a win win for both of y'all. It's a win for y'all relationship. It's a win for their growth. Uh, I mean, I love it. So many people, I, I look, I flock to people who give me that kind of energy. People who bring it up out of me, and I want to bring it out of the next person because that's what's gonna get people to be in their authentic self, unapologetically themselves. And and I'm looking for authenticity. People get so sick of the hustle day to day. Don't nobody want the hustle all the time. Like I, I, I grew up like that, man. I don't want to hey, all that hustling. I'm, we done hustling each other. Like what of what value? Because we ta- we we don't exchange time for money. We exchange uh t- money for value. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to get something valuable from you, and you deserve something valuable for me from me and hopefully we can work like that and when that relationship ain't there then i don't have time for you i don't got time for and, that. and you'll be surprised when you put some when you when you deal with people like that and you're valuing each other and you're making you know what i mean you're Man. you're making use of the capabilities that we have Fact. you will really start to see how that makes you feel internally Oh, and yeah. I'm a, you know, I'm a firm believer in that. Like being happy is what creates your success. Come on now. This is where all the success around you comes from because now you're creating the environment that you want. That you want. You're creating, you're creating the life that you see that people should have. You're creating it for them. Everybody yeah. can't get up on their own two feet and do it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to show people how to manage their time. Absolutely. And get this, this is, it's deliberate practice. Like, I have to practice every day. I have to be intentional daily. Like I, I just don't wake up and I'm I'm arrived and confirmed. It never. I got to wake up and re remind myself one remind myself who I am, like what I'm capable of doing, and at the same time intentionally practice to make sure that I'm live up to my capabilities. One thing I do hate is disappointing myself. Like it's it's tough to sit with disappointment late at night, man. It's tough to sit in them low places where you disappointed yourself. Like at the end of the get day, your mind right. Get your mind. You got to because you got to get your mind right. I can't look in the mirror of myself when I'm disappointed in myself. Like you just didn't Listen. do what you needed to do. Period. <laughs> so you bring that up because I was just explaining that yesterday to somebody when I was like, I hear from a lot of people like. No, man, you looking good. Okay. But through my lens, I'm not where I want to be. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm not working for your satisfaction. I'm working for my satisfaction. You know what I mean? And this is where a lot of people have to understand. We do a lot of working for the satisfaction from others or the satisfaction of others. Oh, I'm doing this because it's going to make my mama proud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm doing this because it's going to make my daddy proud. Right. What is it doing for you? That goes back to what you said, how you value your time. No, you're not valuing your time. You're valuing somebody else's time. You're spending all your time making somebody else happy, or you're spending all your time making somebody else successful, or you're making somebody, you're spending all your time making somebody else great. But the entire time you're pulling all of that from yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you dedicating any of your time to yourself? And this is, this conversation is one of those ones that goes out to the people that are, you know what I mean, that are not in the positions that we're that we're in. You know what I mean? The ones that are actually sitting up working nine to fives and sometimes nine to nines. You know what I mean? Yeah. How are you dedicating your time to yourself, but you wonder why every day you feel down, yeah. you feel drained, you yeah. feel tired because you're not giving back to yourself. You're not doing anything to regenerate yourself, your happiness, your character, your worth, your yeah. value. You're not doing anything to give back to yourself because you dedicating it all out. And the only thing that you get out of it at the end is materialistic thing. That's money. Sure. And this is what this space is created for. It's created to self-care. You have to put yourself on a list of people that need to be taken care of. You have to yeah. you have to pour into yourself. You have to speak life. You have to work yourself. You have to get to a place where uh, you understand that health is wealth. And health, well, when you think of health, it's not just, you know, I went to the gym. Your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, like, it's it's a this is a a monster in itself to try and keep this engine running and if you don't pump into yourself if you don't oil your engine if you don't you know put deposits in if you don't love yourself love yourself enough to experience you know peace love yourself enough to be in the right environments and to really 
you know, grow, not just be of your time, but be a part of your time, like get involved in your time. Like you owe yourself that much. It's going to feel that much better. That is a part of just living. We talked a lot about that. Like I want to get, I'm in a place where I'm living and it, and I'm, and I do have hard days, but I know how to live and I know what it feel like. So I know how to get back to it. And, and I don't got to be comfortable every day. It's in my most uncomfortable moments that I see the most gains. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to it that way. And, and I hope that people feel that like start with yourself. Really, honestly, start with yourself because you see in the world how you are. So if you are in a low place, it's because you feel low, you low, you you're there. So that's how you reflect it. That's how you see it. Man, if you start with yourself, you get yourself pumped up. You're going to turn around and get the next person pumped up. You're going to turn around and get the person to the left of you pumped up. That's how you service people. That's how you give back to other people. That's how you pour into other people is because you do it to yourself. They're watching you and now you're servicing them that man, that's an all around good feel relationship. And then you get to spread that to the masses. Next play mentality. How can you get to the next play? And part of it, most of it, the immediate beginning is is you. It's about your mentality. Where are you going? Echo. Make sure we, that that's one of those messages to be spread. Echo agree with that one. Echo agree. That's one of them to be that be spread. It. Um. The 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 key thing I took out of that. Be a part of your time. Absolutely. That, that, that's that's a strong. That's a, that's a strong statement right there. Be a part, part of, of your time. time. You know what I'm saying? And 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 people actually should say that and sit down and think about what that actually means to be a part of your time. Mm-hmm. That means to be present in every individual moment that you're having with yourself. That's literally making a decision every minute of the day. Every time. Every hour of the day. Be a part of your time. Yep. Is this what I need or is this what I want? Is this what I should be doing or is this what I want to do? You know what I mean? That's what it means to be a part of your time. You're analyzing how you're spending your day. You're analyzing what do I gain from this moment? What do I gain from this moment? What do I gain from this moment? Okay. How does this help me get closer to my goal? How does this help me get, this is called being a part of your time because when, when you don't waste, when you're wasting it, that's when you're just sitting here and you're not doing anything. And then before you know it, this is, this is my tip for everybody out there. If you want to know, how do I know if I'm wasting my time? If you ever look at your time and you go, oh, snap, it's four o'clock. Let me get moving. That means you just wasted your time. <laughs> That's exactly what that means. You know what I'm saying? We don't have those moments. We get lost in these situations. You know what I mean? We get to talking on here and, and we, we creating content. We getting content. We building relationships. We never say, oh, oh, snap, let me get going. I got that. No, we always sit here and be like, all right, well, what you got planned for the day? We right. even help each other break our time. Now, what you got planned for the rest of the day? Yeah. Oh, well, let me see. I got to get ready to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Okay, well, I'm going to handle this. I'm going to handle that. I'm going to handle this. Hey, when I get back in the stool, if you're not doing nothing, shoot, we can link back up. Yeah. Boom. Okay, let me try to get this stuff done because then, yeah, I can link up with her. And then we could get to talking about bam, 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 bam and get this stuff done. This is how you manage your time. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we don't want to get off of here because we piggyback off of each, of each other of how to yeah, energy. better do things. You know what I mean? And that's that environment that you're creating. We can't create these environments where it's like, hey, come over for eight hours so we can sit down and podcast yeah. and talk about stuff. Yeah. No, but you work, I'm working. We're going to do it like this while I'm handling this and handling that. Right. It's all fun. It's all work. All work should never be hard. When you're managing your time, if you're doing anything that seems like it's too hard or too overwhelming, you need to reflect on that situation and think if you really need to be doing that with your time. Because everything that you do with your time should be easy and smooth selling. Yeah, and and I understand what you mean by easy because you're going to run into those pivot holes. Like I run into those moments where I can't get past people a part or a assembly or whatever it is I'm doing, but eventually because it's not, it doesn't feel like work. You just, you're just pumping into it. You just continue to pour in it. And I wanted to reiterate that like the message really is, man, this, the work is a fun part. Like don't connect what we said to a negative, like, Oh man, I got to pump all my time into being effective. I got to pump all my time into being efficient. No, that's going to be the part that you start to love. You're, you're, Listen, I am queen of celebrate big wins. The part when my show come on is we win and like it feels good. Like this is this is not a bad thing. And take your time to celebrate. Take your time to rest. Man, holiday season always gives me a restoration time where I'm like, hey, just wind down. Everybody is out the office. Ain't nobody doing nothing. So you pause, you think, you breathe, like take this moment. I think my body naturally shut down during the holidays to be like, oh, I can't do that work over there. 
this is just me. Like <laughs> this is my time. I'm with it. And, and that's the hard thing for me. Well, it is. That's man. one of those it things is. that I'm working on now is not working. You know what I mean? I always feel like it I felt good. This, it felt good this week, though. It felt good to oh, just be like, let me do something for me. Okay, why not? Listen, I like that smile. You can put that on a couple we, times. Before we get up out of here, we're going to definitely talk about I enjoyed my New Year's Eve. Absolutely. I, that. You know what Absolutely. I, mean? I actually took New Year's Eve as the day. Um, that's how I manage my time, by celebrating the fact that I managed my time well throughout the entire year. Nice. So I w- I had eight hours to just celebrate. Just celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I can give myself eight hours to celebrate because mm-hmm. I didn't do the mathematical corrections, but out of all the, the the years, I mean, out of all the hours I put through in these months and grind it out, I can yeah. give myself eight hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like reward yourself. You gotta celebrate. But, if you don't celebrate but, it, man, I like. What it, what what next are you working for? Like, cause hey, you gotta get not, once you get there, celebrate it. You don't you don't appreciate all that process and that work you did. Celebrate, and it's not, and it's not only the it's not only the big wins to be celebrated. Oh, no. Celebrate the little ones too, but Ma- them match them up. Don't they, take they don't take no out of don't take no out of country trip because you made you your know, because up. you did a little <laughs> win. No, because you your the room little clean. Little <laughs> You like, oh snap! Okay, Ooh. I got the session done, recorded, and I got it posted. Cool. Let me have a drink. Choo. All right, oh. back to work. Yeah, some you know what I'm saying? Some people, some people be like, Dang. I finished my paper. I'm going to Cancun. <laughs> like, it ain't even got graded yet. Yeah. You ain't even passed the class yet. Like, you ears. Go ahead, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you ears. This is you ain't even passed the class. <laughs> you yeah. Did you? you is the course done? Well, it's just the first week. What we celebrating? Like, girl. Get right it away. Right away. You already got your nails in here. Get your mind right, girl. <laughs> Better get your mind right. I'm trying to tell you. Come on now. But yeah, just match, match them up. You know what I mean? It's important to celebrate those little wins, too, because when you celebrate a little win, it makes you chase doing another little win. So that's what we're looking for. People who are willing to chase, whether it's little wins, big wins, they they chasing their time and they're, and they're chasing appropriately to get there, man. Let, we can kick it right to the audience call. I'm, we, we are really looking for people who are understanding that time is valuable. Uh, for t- for time to be the most infinite, uh, like there is no real true understanding of really how time works. We know that time is just time. When you think of your 24 hours in your day, how can you structure it to give you the most value? How can you put yourself in a position to be great, to understand that time will help you be productive versus being busy? Time is going to give you uh, the space to be prepared so that you can be confident. Um, I want us to understand that, you know, time is necessary. And if we can have proper time management and if we can understand that time is going to be the thing that we rely on to get to our next play, uh-huh. the only limit of us, we're looking for people who are there. We're looking for people who are ready to start using their time wisely and effectively. And, and let's get to it. Let's win together. Self-care Sunday. As always, you know it's a vibe when we link. Great Sunday. conversations, great topics, great everything all around. Um I want to thank you know everybody out there. Leave I don't know. I just feel so me. good. Like you know how you you don't even want to end it. It just feels so good. You like got, just keep it classic. Let me turn it just up. Keep it, all right. Well, keep we want to thank y'all <laughs> for tuning in with us on Self Care Sunday. As always, I want to thank you for rocking with the Tea Time Podcast, where you talk topics with tea. It's time for tea time. <laughs> Talk topics with T. I am your host, Royal T.